Just a week ago, Klein introduced a significant update where they unveiled a new form of autonomous functionality. It's an update that allows users to leverage MCP, which is known for model context protocol. It's a feature powered by Anthropic, and it enables clients to seamlessly integrate custom tools like GitHub or web search tools, and many along that sort. We're going to dive deeper into this exciting new capability later into the video, and I actually have a full video which showcases this. But what's even more groundbreaking is the Klein 3.0 release, which was just launched this week. With this version, Klein has become fully autonomous. It can now auto-approve every command, execute browse functions, and even run MCP without requiring any manual intervention. This transformation is going to make Klein, especially when it's paired with VS Code, an ideal agentic AI IDE, capable of handling your task entirely on its own. For the people who do not know, Klein is an autonomous coding agent that is directly integrated within your IDE, capable of creating editing files, executing commands, using your browser, and much more at your permission every step of the way. But now, obviously with this new update, you have the flexibility to enable the option for Klein to autonomously execute your tasks. If you do not have Klein, it's super easy to install. You can install it to any IDE, so in this case, I recommend that you install it with Visual Studio Code. You can install this completely for free, and then you can install the Klein extension to it. With this new Klein version 3, you have many new updates. You have auto approval for all actions, which is where the autonomous functionality comes into place. You have the ability to set max limit on API requests so that you can stay in control with whatever uh, requests are being made by the AI agent. And you can also have it uh, send desktop notifications when a task is actually completed so this way you can basically do other tasks while you can have Klein basically focus on the task that you had sent beforehand but something that is really cool is that Klein can now also use a flexible diff edit format this is when it's working on larger files and it's going to ensure that there's faster and more reliable edits starting off with the auto approve menu feature this is where it's going to allow Klein to work more autonomously where you can just simply enable it or disable it and you can even customize permissions and decide which tool Klein can use with or without your approval. For most people, you should have it auto installed in terms of the new version 3.0 update but say if you do not have it, what you can do is go over to the extension tab, search up Klein and then you should have an option to update over here. But now, since we have already updated it, you can see that there is this auto approve feature and if you click on the drop down menu you can see all the options that we just recently stated where you have the ability to enable all of these options like reading files editing files but you will notice one important feature you have the ability to enable max requests where a client will automatically make this many api requests before asking for approval so this is a great way for you to actually put a barrier for the agent to not go over so it doesn't waste through your tokens and say if you have it enabled to have client stay in the loop with system notifications you can basically have client running in the background and it will basically notify you when it needs your attention whether it's getting your approval or asking a question or letting you know a task is complete there's going to be this notification that will pop up once that or that specific action needs to be made with this new diff editing feature for large files, what this basically means is that client can now use a search and replace diff format for faster and more reliable edits. It's going to replace only the content that needs changing and it's going to eliminate issues like replacing unmodified code where you can use it for tasks like boilerplate replacements or full refractors. You can have client which will still use whole file editing and it will essentially just increase efficiency across your workflow. Another new cool feature is that you can define custom instructions for your project with a root level client rules file. This is similar to Cursor's Composer where you have that custom file in which you can set your rules and it will basically have the AI agent follow along those instructions to execute your command. But now you have client rules and this is a file that lets you set your project specific behavior. You can set guidelines and even conversations for a client 
which is ideal for linking documentation or even providing context on your project's architecture. So you can see that this is also providing more flexibility for your AI agents to follow what your behaviors are for the agent. Lastly, we have the version 2.20 update from last week, which is something that I made a full video on already. But just to give you a recap, you have the ability to add custom tools to client. In this case, you can see a live demo of an MCP being created. This is a server implementation that Saud basically implemented with the help of Klein. And essentially what this means is that Klein can now plug and play custom tools like web search or even GitHub, where you can add and configure MCP servers easily through the new server icon in the menu bar. This is where you can have it create custom tools as well for your workflow, where you can just simply request it to add a tool that can do this. And you can see Klein fully functioning to create that server tool for you. To access this, you can click on this button over here, which will showcase the MCP server. In this case, I have one created for uh, finding documentations for the latest node.js packages. And this is a great way for you to easily provide more tools to Klein to autonomously execute things. So to test Klein's new autonomous functionality, I'm gonna go ahead and have it create a stock market application where I can see trending stocks and see my portfolio overview with graphs. So let's go ahead and auto approve many of these features like reading files and directories, editing files, executing safe commands, using the browser, and even using MCP servers. So let's go ahead and send this in and let's see what it's capable of autonomously uh, creating. So you can see, I don't even need to go ahead and intervene. It's gonna go ahead and create the files without me even stepping in. So it looks like the application is uh, finally complete and you can see that it was able to execute all these commands without me even intervening, where it has the capability of even web browsing and it can look at things and make the API request to make it even better. So let's go ahead and run this command to start up this application and we should have it opened up within our browser. And just take a look at that. You have this stock dash application that was fully generated autonomously without me even intervening. Obviously, this is something that you wouldn't wanna do for developing front ends because you'd wanna be uh, overviewing each step of the way of the development of your front end. But you can see that it's capable of showcasing me the trending stocks like Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Tesla. You have your portfolio overview daily change and a graph to visualize your assets. So you can see this was something that was fully generated autonomously without me even intervening. And what's cool is that you can have Klein even create the MCP tool autonomously. So in this case, I had requested it to create an MCP server that provides web browsing capabilities. And you can see right away, it's gonna autonomously create this for me. So it'll execute these commands. And in this case, since this is uh, not a really safe command it's gonna make me uh, go ahead and it's gonna make me run this command on my own discretion because remember we had enabled this function of using and executing safe commands only not every command so that's something that you want to keep in mind but essentially this is something that i would obviously want to oversee before it autonomously executes something so this was a great option to include within this update but now you can see that it's autonomously creating this MCP server for me, which is just great. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private Discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. And there we go, the MCP server has been created. This is something that is just insane because it was able to execute all these commands on its own. And it just goes to show how amazing this functionality of the version 3.0 update is within Klein. I'll make sure I'll leave all the links in the description below, but I wanna say one thing, huge respects to Saud, who has been continuously working on improving this framework even further. I really, really appreciate all the work he has done. He has been working tirelessly to improve this agent to make it become the best AI Gentech framework that's available for anyone to access completely for free, as this is an open source tool that anyone can use. So definitely give him a follow on Twitter. Make sure you support his project by obviously giving it a star. 
I actually didn't give that star shit. <laughs> but with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can stay up to date with the latest subscriptions that are given to you on a complete uh, monthly basis. We actually have two subscriptions available for you to access. We have Lovable as well as Anything LM. So if you're interested, definitely go subscribe so that you can access these for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter as well as my YouTube channel for daily AI uploads. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.